Okay, I just thought I'd give you a, an update on the uh, state of the pots out here. And I think we're going to have to call, talk about the Judeo process eventually. Okay. Um, <laughs> Penny suddenly dropped last night. Uh, why we um, probably got all these problems in CPs. Probably dates back hundreds of years and the, the process they've been using to measure the nitrogen um, content of various items, objects, soils and things like that for uh, oh, centuries I suppose now. The classical process. And uh, yeah, I just think it's going to cause havoc because, you know, uh, people have been using this process for hundreds of years and everything's been measured against it. It's almost become like a standard sort of thing. And, um, oh, you know, it'd be, yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's just going to be pushing up against a brick wall, I reckon. But anyway, some of these pots, yeah, it's the wrong, it's the wrong, um, the wrong soil bacon, I believe. So we'll see different things, but we're still getting odd things like this. You, know, you get spots, you get spotting here in various locations. So then you've got other things like this that are going really well, and some of the um, down the corners there, it gets becomes quite glaucous in the corners there at certain times. This seems to be going in and out, in and out. It greens up after a rain, then diminishes again, then green, greens up again. These ones are, are too dry, they're going to be failures because it just doesn't keep the moisture. Um, caterpillar. Okay. So I'm, I'm uh, too straight down in the colour grid with this. I'm testing this out um, to see how we, how we go. And I'm now probably going to do two straight across and, and close in on our goal that way to get perfect one to one colour. Uh, this suddenly, after the warm day, started coming back, started growing again. And uh, the uh, the butter, buttercups, buttercups, is that right? Is that the right term for them? Are starting to grow now. And if you notice, I've got this same stuff here that's growing out there in the bush. So another again, it's just a, a rough sign that, you know, if I can start getting things growing on pots here, using that amount of nitrogen that's matching the, uh, the stuff that's occurring out in the bush, there's something majorly wrong and I think it's this thing, it's the Jadal, Jadal, K-J-E-L-D-A-H-L method. Yeah, I think it has problems and that's why they've come to this conclusion. Oh, there's no nitrogen there, therefore we're going to call them depauperate soils and therefore if we have depauperate soils, they must be eating the insects for the nitrogen. And I think they're wrong on both counts. So, uh, yeah, and of course I've got this here as well. So, uh, and then these are starting to grow back now, so there, is, there was some sort of delay, but um, I think uh, everything else is going to be born out. And still, this one here between the salt one is still better than that one there. So, uh, yeah, it's amazing, salt. And this one's still going on quite well here. You can see getting better and better. But now, all the information from this one and what I'm doing over there, and I like these ones because they're growing up and once they, once they grow up you'll be able to see the cerocene from underneath there. But you can probably measure the stem gro growth rate. Yeah, the, the length of the stem you can almost equate to uh, 